Why is Texas struggling to keep the lights on? It's not like extreme weather is a surprise. So how come our electrical grid operators keep asking us to conserve? because Texas is growing so fast that our fleet of power plants is struggling to keep up. In one decade, Texas gained four million people. That is a lot of new lights and iPhone chargers and coffee makers and televisions to plug in. And companies are moving to Texas. Texas now has more Fortune 500 company headquarters than any other state. And all of those companies have one thing in common, they need electricity. The Texas electricity grid is operated by ERCOT. Demand on the ERCOT grid is rising. On one of the hottest days this summer, Texans demanded more electricity than ever before. That's a 19% increase in peak demand compared with 10 years ago. Back in 2012, ERCOT forecasted that this year, 2022, the most power generation Texans would demand would be 67,500 megawatts. But we blew past that level back in 2015. Texas had to build a lot of new power plants. Meanwhile, the cost of wind and solar generation was dropping. So Texas investors built renewable energy. In 2000, the portion of demand served by coal, natural gas, and nuclear was about 98%. The renewables portion was tiny. By 2012, the fossil fuel and nuclear portion had dropped to 88%. And in 2022, coal, nuclear, and natural gas now only serve about 63% of demand. Almost all the rest is wind and solar. That's a big change on the electrical grid because in past decades, ERCOT could simply turn power plants on and off to meet the ups and downs of demand. ERCOT cannot turn the wind and sun on and off. But renewable power plants are so cheap to build and operate that investors no longer want to build any other type of plant in Texas. So the Texas population is growing rapidly and people are using more electricity. But ERCOT isn't getting more resources that it can turn on and off to meet the rise and fall of demand throughout the day. This is why Texas is having a hard time keeping the lights on. And it's up to the Public Utility Commission to come up with a plan.